क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ ए साइड ऑफ ए क्यूब हुज टोटल सरफेस एरिया इज सेवन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर हियर वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड लेंथ ऑफ ए साइड ऑफ ए क्यूब इट इज यल वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड एंड इट इज गिवेन टोटल सरफेस एरिया दैट इज टी एस ए ऑफ क्यूब इज सेवन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर सो वी विल टेक लेट द लेंथ of the side of a cube as l so we are going to find l only in this question and also it is given total surface area 726 cm square that is tsa of cube Is equal to seven hundred and twenty-six centimeter square. We already know TSA of a cube is six L square. So we'll substitute that one. Six L square is equal to seven hundred and twenty-six. We're going to find L value. So L square will be equal to seven hundred and twenty-six divided by six. If we cancel, we'll get one hundred and twenty-one. So L square is equal to one hundred and twenty one. L square is equal to one hundred and twenty one means L will be is equal to root of one hundred and twenty one. Root of one twenty one is eleven. Since our total surface area is given in centimeter square, our length will be in centimeter. So our length is eleven centimeter. Therefore, the length of the side of a cube is 11 cm question number 4 find the surface area of a chalk box whose length breadth and height are 16 cm 8 cm and 6 cm respectively in this question we are going to find the surface area of a chalk box that is uh the chalk box is will be in the shape of cuboid because length breadth and height is given so we'll write the given first given length is equal to 16 cm and breadth is equal to 8 cm and our height is equal to 6 cm we are going to find surface area of a chalk box so surface area of chalk box that is tsa of cuboid b 2 into l into b plus b into h plus l into H. We'll substitute all our values in the formula, which is equal to two into L is sixteen, and our B is eight, plus our B is eight, and our height is six. Our L is sixteen, and our height is six. Close the bracket. We'll simplify the bracket. Sixteen into eight is one twenty-eight, and six into eight is forty-eight, and sixteen into six is ninety-six. We'll add all these terms. So, two into one twenty-eight plus forty-eight is one seventy-six, and one seventy-six plus ninety-six will be two hundred and seventy. Two and two into two hundred and seventy-two is five hundred and forty-four. We will write the unit as centimeter square, since all the dimensions, length, breadth, and height are given in centimeter. Question number five: Find the area of the four walls of your room whose length is six meter, breadth is five meter, and height is four meter. Also find the cost of Whitewashing the walls at the rate of 
rupees 5 per meter square. Here in this question, we are given with length, breadth and height of the four walls of the room. And we are asked to find the area of the four walls. After finding the area of the four walls, we are going to find the cost of whitewashing uh, the walls at the rate of rupees 5 meter per meter square. So, we are given with length that is 6 meter, breadth 5 meter and height 4 meter. Using this dimension, first we will find area of 4 walls. That is lateral surface area of cuboid 2 into L plus B into H. We will substitute all these measures in this formula. That is 2 into our L is 6 meter and our breadth is 5 meter. So 5 into our height is 4 meter. So 4. 6 plus 5 is 11 into 4. 2 into 11 is 22 to 4. 22 into 4 is 88. Since all the measures are given in meter, we will write our area in meter square. So, area of 4 walls is 88 meter square. After finding the area of 4 walls, we are asked to find the cost of whitewashing it at the rate of rupees 5 per meter square. So, therefore, the cost of White washing it the walls at the rate of of rupees five per meter square will be cost of uh, white washing the wall for one meter square is rupees 5. So, to find the cost of 88 meter square, we will multiply 88 with 5 rupees. 5 into 88. 5 into 88 is rupees 440. So, the cost of whitewashing the walls at the rate of rupees 5 per meter square is rupees 440. Question number 6. Find the lateral surface area and total surface area of a cube of edge 3.6 cm. Here we are given with edge of a cube this 3.6 cm and we are asked to find lateral surface area that is LSA and total surface area that is TSA of a cube. So we are given with edge of a cube. edge of the cube will represent L edge of the cube as L which is equal to 3.6 centimeter and we are asked to find LSA and TSA of a cube. So LSA of cube LSA of cube is 4 L square. We will substitute the value of L in this formula. So 4 into L square. L is 3.6. 3.6 square. 3.6 square is nothing but 3.6 into 3.6. This is 12.96. 4 into 12.96 is 51.84 centimeter square. Since our measure is given in centimeter. Next we are going to find total surface area of cube that is TSA of cube TSA of a cube is 6 L square so 6 into L square is 3.6 square 3.6 square is 12.96 so 6 into 12.96 
6 into 12.96 is 77.76 and I'll write our unit in centimeter square so LSA of a cube is 51.84 centimeter square and TSA of cube is 77.76 centimeter square